the Cubely, the Cubelli, Cherry's Cubely. This moth inspired mobile suit has always been a source of dread fascination for me. The Revive artwork is beautiful with this digital painting, very clean on these metallic textures. It is stunning. I'd love to turn this into a, like a standalone display with the box later. The Cubely is creepy. I think it's creepy. It's always creeped me out, but it's one of the reasons I love it. It's so interesting, so different. Turning it over, we can see the wing binders. Looks like everything opens up. The new molding on this kit looks like it's going to have a lot of different poses and posability, which is really cool. You really expect that from a good revive kit, which I appreciate a lot. Definitely still has some of the old design cues with a lot more flat. We don't get to see a lot of those technical things until much later in the series, but it doesn't take away from how lovely this kit is. I can harp on and on about how Haman's my wife and I love this little moth man, but let's just open her up. Originally making its debut in Mobile Suit Zeta Gundam, the Cubilly was piloted by Haman Karn and developed to make full use of the pilot's Latin new type abilities. Originally developed by Axis, the Cubilly is actually very unique because it is the first combat mobile suit that was equipped with the smaller generation of the Psycom use system, which allowed it to make use of remote controlled funnels that the Cubilly would become infamous for. This was a nice change from Lala's Elmeth, which required a much larger system in its earlier iteration to use such technology. This high-grade Cubely is a prime example of what a good revive kit should be, breathing life into the earlier iteration of the build, adding lots of color separation and extra details. Overall, it looks like large white swaths like a winter Bob Ross painting, but when you get down to it, open the box, look at the runners like we've done. There are so many shades of purple, magenta, pinks, and deep royal blues sprinkled throughout the uniform white body, and they're all very well layered and lend a great amount of depth to the build. The Cubely Revive also comes with two sets of hands, one set being the standard sandwich type that you see in nearly every high grade suit in order to grip the beam sabers. But also included is a very nice set of expressive hands that have articulate fingers and thumbs that along with all of the other hard angles from the knee pauldrons and the feet which are able to point down like beautiful Balenciaga square-toed mules allow you to accentuate and exaggerate this already extreme silhouette of a mobile suit into the most imposing yet beautiful poses. Now this Mothman has more than just those tunnels stored in its thorax, it also has beam weapons, most notably it has a beam saber that is kept in each wrist, much like Emperor Palpatine hiding his lightsaber inside of his robe when Mace Windu came to arrest him. The Cubely can quickly detach this beam weapon and ignite it with a sustained beam to act as a beam saber. As I said before, the new molding on these, especially under those wing binders, if you take your time, you could really detail that up very nicely and have an absolutely stunning build for just a high grade. Alrighty, and lastly, we're just going to touch on some of the articulation gimmicks and little accessories. First off, we do get some sandwiching hands as well to go with the regular articulate hands. I really like these articulate hands. It's worth noting as well, as I said before. Oh goodness. Okay, so that happens sometimes, but this really is a sturdy kit. I'll just... It's okay. There's a little notch in the hand where you can put the beam saber. So I just like using these personally, and the thumb wraps around Close it. 
beautiful. The feet end in nice tapered points, but they also flex a little bit as well, which is nice to pose it. These little pauldrons on the knees also flex really well, as do the skirtings, which go up all the way. So you can have our beautiful little lady do the splits if you want. Very cool. The binders on the wings and the shoulders do limit the arm articulation, but that is actually canon in the show that the binders limit the arm movement. So that's a detail that we can overlook. It's fine. It's also a cool design cue from nature because even though the arms are limited, these binders allow the cubely to have unparalleled movability, maneuverability. And you see this a lot with unorthodox shapes in nature. Look at the hammerhead shark. The hammerhead shark on top of having its really weird like head shape. This guy also has a weird head shape. And its dorsal fin is longer and further up the back. But they figured out that this allows it to be able to turn with an unparalleled ability compared to other sharks. It's a cool design cue. Also, we have the movable thorax on the back of the cubely which has 10 funnels inside. They do make a uh, P Bandai little funnel rack to display them, which I don't have, so these guys aren't getting a lot of use. And they just pop in and they're pretty, they're pretty firm and secure in there. They don't really come out, that's great. The binders move really well. Sometimes though, I wish there was another joint in here just because they fold and they overlap on each other isn't a crazy detail but just worth noting and there's a second set of stickers there's some green eyes in here if you want those instead of the red eyes i like the red eyes though because it's creepy and that's really all i have to say about this unorthodox mobile suit i really love the cubely it's just so very different she's so fabulous with her bell bottoms her insect design cues and her wispy little hands and if you like the Cubely, you're interested in it, Zeta Gundam has some of the most interesting and varied mobile suit designs from the classic Universal Century timeline. You've got the Cubely, the Barzum, the O, all kinds of shapes and sizes. There's really interesting mobile suit designs, and I love them all. And if you're interested in the Cubely or others, I'm going to link LeapingPandaHobbies.com below. Use my promo code EGGHEAD. Get yourself 10% off your entire order. Pick up some lovely kits like the Cubely or any other such kits. Again, that's LeapingPandaHobbies.com. Use my promo code EGGHEAD for 10% off. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, I would really appreciate it if you went ahead and did so. Keep up with me and all the other videos we're going to keep pumping out. It's free. I'd love to have you guys join the community. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you later this week with another review.